Howdy everybody, this is Strato Ayani again with another video tutorial from craftiuspro.com Your guy for Photoshop Lightroom and Photography and with a freaking weird freaking accent. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about a common problem that is happening a lot especially in wedding photographers and photographers that are shooting portraits and I'm talking about the skin tones that are getting blown out either by uh, more light that is hitting from one side or because of sweat especially if you're a wedding photographer and you're shooting within the temple on a hot day you know exactly what I'm talking about or if the makeup is not that good then again you know what I'm talking about so I'm going to show you how to remove those highlights from uh, someone's face with a very quick and very effective technique and it's going to save you a lot of time it's going to give you great results and if you have a lot of photos to fix you're not going to be pulling your hair out because you have to fix all these photos but you are going to be a very happy person because it will make your life a lot easier faster and you will gain time in order to do what you most love in this amazing life because if you are alive and if you are a photographer and not a tree, not a bee, not a something else, then you are very lucky. Yeah. We get philosophical around here sometimes, but let's get practical. Let's get into Photoshop because I think I might had too many cups of coffee and too little sleep. As you can see, we have a photo within Photoshop and I'm going to show you the problem that we are going to be dealing with. As you can see, this side of his face is very uh, overlit, meaning that it's quite white. It looks like uh, it's going to be uh, blown out in the areas of the highlights, especially if you compare this side of his face with this side, which looks a lot more natural and nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way where you can correct very quickly and very effectively this kind of problems and it's going to be helpful for all sorts of photographers especially for portrait and wedding photographers of course and um, this is very good as a technique because it's very quick and it gives very good results so if you have a lot of photos to correct this is a lifesaver slash time saver <clears throat> okay so how I'm going to uh, edit this photo. The first thing that I want to do is I want to click here and create a new layer. I'm going to double click on its name and I'm going to name it Highlights Corrections. Alright. Step number two. I'm going to select the foreground color and I'm going to use my color picker in order to pick a skin color that is quite close to the overblown areas over here. So I'm going, let's see, somewhere around here. I don't want to take a very dark tone, so this is why I'm not taking this kind of colors. As you can see, from this area, the skin tone is very dark. Uh, on the contrary, I'm trying to find a very uh, nice skin tone that is close to the highlight area. So I believe this should do it. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to take my brush tool and adjust the brush size by using the left or the right bracket keys on my keyboard. And I'm simply going to paint over this area. Now, I know it might look horrible, but believe me, it will look a lot better in just a few seconds. Now, uh, we really need to blur this area out in order to make it blend in better with uh, the photo. So I'm going to the filter menu while I have this layer active and I'm going to select blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to drag it all the way to the right until all the edges are quite uh, blurry and they almost disappear as you can see so this is before and this is the after let me show you the trick before and after we preserve by blurring this layer the inner part but we we'll blur and we gradually fade away the outer part so this thing will blend better, uh, a lot better actually with the background photo. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to double click in this layer but not into the name area because this uh, will happen. It will allow me to rename the layer but I don't want to rename it. I want to open this window over here, the layer style panel. So double click in an empty area around the title in order to bring forward 
this window and this is what you have to do. Step number one, you press the Alt button and you drag, click and drag actually, this triangle in order to break it in half. Now, if you don't press Alt, this is what will happen, you will get this awful result. So, what you need to do is you need to press the Alt button on your keyboard and then click and drag in order to break this triangle in half. Now, you have to drag all the way to the right for the first black triangle and we go here again in the second triangle and we do the exact same thing. We press Alt and we click and drag to the right. Uh, as you can see, this is before and after, before and after without pressing the Alt button and I'm going to do the same thing by pressing the Alt button before and after, before and after. Now, let's do it. Now, for the second triangle that you break up in two pieces, you want to play around by dragging left and right this part until you get a satisfying result on your screen. So I'm going to leave it at around 210 and I'm going to simply hit OK. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of improvement. This is the before and this is the after, before and after, but still there is some work that needs to be done. And the final step is to go over here and go to the opacity layer and drag it all the way down, let's say, to 75% to 60%, depending on how blown up the skin is. For example, if I go to zero opacity, I will get the original photo, but if I go to 50%, I will immediately see great improvement. This is before and after, before and after. I might push it all the way to 65, until I get this result, which is quite satisfying and pleasing for the eyes and I'm going to hit again before, and after, before and after. So there you have it. It's a very easy and very quick technique if you want to get down low and dirty and do some quick corrections on the skin regarding some highlights, which is especially a big problem for wedding photographers when they're shooting uh, within uh, the temple because uh, people get sweaty, they get uh, very strange highlights and uh, blown out areas on their faces and it really looks ugly. So by using this technique, it's almost like you are using digital makeup in order to cover up these uh, very bright areas. And of course, as I said before, you can do the same for the nose, you can do the same for the hands, for every part of the body you can possibly imagine. So, this was the technique. Let's go to our fantastic outro uh, to give you a few more tips and finish this lesson. So, that was it. It wasn't so hard, I believe. I think that this technique will be very useful to you and it will save you a lot of time in the following days, weeks, months, years, centuries, etc, etc. And hopefully you will find it um, very easy to use and very useful so you will add it to your assets of Photoshop techniques. As always, if you didn't like this video, you know what the hell to do. Thumbs down, boohoo. If you like this video, you can always thumbs up this video on YouTube and on the article light like right below this uh, part that you are watching right now at craftyspro.com. Subscribe to our new you uh, subscribe to YouTube channel and mainly click so you don't lose any lessons at all and until next time i would be more than happy to answer to your questions if you have any questions please leave them at the comments below and i will be more than happy to assist you in any problem you have in life in photoshop in lightroom whatever give me a shout out i would love to hear from you until next time this is Strato thank you very much and take care